At times you may need to calculate your areas off the dimensions from a set of plans. The dimensions are indicated by lines and numbers that you see drawn around a plan. Here is the first example of how dimension lines work. These two lines indicate the thickness of the wall. It's an external wall, so the thickness is 240 millimeters. We notice here that the internal wall is only 70 millimeters thick. The wall here for this room is 3930 millimeters wide. The total length of the external wall from end to end is 21,430 millimeters. Of course, when you have large numbers like this, it's much easier to refer to this as meters. So in this case, it would be 21.43 meters. But what is this dimension line indicating? This dimension actually indicates the length of the outside wall out to the end of the porch. You see here that the porch extends past the building by 350 millimeters. So if we look at the dimension of the wall as being 21,430 millimeters, then add to that figure the 350 millimeters that the porch extends by, you find the outside dimension is 21,780 millimeters. Let's see how we can calculate the area of ceilings. Let's take, for example, bedroom four. We see here that the one wall of the bedroom is 2.9 meters, and the other seems to be 3.25 meters. Or is it? No, it's not. This is why you should always check with a ruler what the dimension lines relate to. Your eye may make an error. We can see here the actual dimension is 2.96 meters. So the area of the ceiling is 2.9 by 2.96, making it 8.58 square meters. Now to calculate walls. First we see that one wall is 2.9 and the other is 2.96. This adds up to 5.86, but that's only two walls. Now if we multiply that by two, it gives us the other two walls, making it 11.72 meters perimeter. But to establish the area of the walls, we need to multiply this perimeter by the height of the walls. To determine the height of the walls, we need to have a look at the section view. We see here indicated in the floor plan, the letters A and A. This represents where the plan is cut through for a section view. Here we see the section view AA. Within the drawing, we can identify that the ceiling is 2.45 meters. So the area of the walls for bedroom four would be the perimeter of 11.72 meters multiplied by the height of the ceiling, 2.45 meters, making the wall area 28.71 square meters.